How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? It's a perfect day for banana fish. Throughout all the years that I've been doing this, all two of them, all the way from my beginnings on TikTok, Banana Fish has always been my number one requested series. Yuri on Ice was definitely a close second, but if I had to pick one anime that you guys refuse to shut up about, it has to be Banana Fish. And I know nothing about it. I've done no research. All I know is that it's made by the same guy who made Skate the Infinity, and allegedly, it's going to break my heart. By the way, brief content warning for this show, I don't know all the specifics that are gonna happen, but I have been warned that uh, there's some like essay that goes on, there's some CP that goes on. So just if any of that stuff makes you uncomfortable, if you're not into watching media revolving around that, maybe skip this reaction series. But you know what? If I know one thing to be true, it's that we've been through some weird stuff together. From Assassination Classroom to Beastars, I have watched some of the most insane animation I've ever seen in my life with you guys. So despite all of your warnings, despite all of your threats, I'm not afraid of banana fish. I am certain that after all of the crazy stuff you guys have put me through up until now, I am 100% prepared for anything this show has to throw at me. <laughs> Gotta be honest here, definitely wasn't prepared for the Iraq war. Although to be fair, Neither were the Iraqis. <laughs> Definitely wasn't prepared for this to open with a friendly fire massacre. The creator of this went from an Iraqi war drama to a bunch of teenagers skateboarding their way into each other's hearts. <laughs> This dude's taking this situation unbelievably well. This guy just killed his entire squad, and this dude's just like, wait, let me see if he's okay first. Banana. Eh? Banana. Fish. Oh, banana fish! Well, that explains everything! God, this show is non-stop. I'm literally two minutes in and there's been six deaths across two locations. <laughs> Look, I don't know who this guy is, but when I paused the video, Amazon told me his name was Ash Lynx. And that's hilarious. Ash Lynx? What is this guy, a stripper? <laughs> This dude better not actually be a stripper. My jokes don't work if the show doubles down on them. I can't call him a stripper and have the show come at me like, yeah, he is. What, you got a problem with that? I'd love it if everyone stopped calling this guy Papa. That would be sick. I would appreciate that a ton. Dog, if you gotta make somebody promise not to kill anybody, you can't be that shocked when they end up killing somebody. If you know that killing somebody is an option in this guy's mind, odds are somebody's gonna end up dead. Nice, look at Ash being Papa's little angel. Oh my god, I was joking! Oh, sweetheart! Oh my god, I accidentally read that situation perfectly. Nice, we're off to a booming start here, banana fish. <laughs> Yeah, and stop discriminating against members of the LGBT community, pussy. He definitely didn't. That's so weird. I this scene 
confused the hell out of me. So I went back to when Ash interacted with that guy, and he absolutely did not say banana fish. I get that they intentionally withheld that information from us, but, like, I have no idea why. Like, having Ash say that right now was so jarring and confusing that I actually had to run back to the beginning to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I don't think that keeping this information from us does anything other than make this scene confusing. Okay, yeah, like, right there. That's a pretty crazy twist. The fact that Ash somehow knows Griffin is pretty wild and intriguing. If anything, I would have just assumed that banana fish is some, I don't, like, I don't know, like, drug or disease that is, like, spreading across the whole world. Like, I wouldn't have tied Ash and Griffin directly together from that. <laughs> My guy, you've got way too many layers on right now. This dude looks like a ballpoint pen stuffed inside of a napkin. <sighs> nice, I'm glad this guy specified which CSI show this building reminded him of. Whoa, this place is just like CSI New York, but not like CSI Miami. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Also, way to make it way worse by not even calling him a Japanese person. No, not a Japanese person, J just a Japanese. I just want to remind everybody again before I inevitably get myself in trouble somehow, you guys told me to react to this. I just want to reiterate that as I continue to dance around this show's abundant homophobia and racism. Nope, nah, not touching that one. There is no resemblance. Griffin and Ash have different color hair and eyes. Yeah, sounds a bit like my audience. <laughs> Meaning when you shoot people with it, do they die? Bakanakotokichata. <laughs> Two insane sentences in a row there. First off, if you see somebody carrying something that's illegal, don't remind them that it's illegal. It's okay. Odds are, they know. Second, don't ask a person if you can hold their illegal object after you just made a whole scene about its legality. Are we sure this dude's fit to be an undercover cop? This guy's the most over-the-covers cop I've ever seen. Why is this Sesame Street character getting lit at 3 in the afternoon? It's so cool to see an anime with an 80s art style get the fluidity of a modern show. Like, seeing character designs that are so clearly of, like, the 80s era of Japanese animation move this fluidly is so sick. <laughs> oh, fuck it up, Skip! What the hell? Skip is the best! <laughs> They took Skip? You know, that's fine. I can't wait to see Skip John Wick his way out of the situation here. Oh, by the way, did you know I've started reacting to Blue Lock? That's right, brief episode transition. If you like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you'll get exclusive reaction videos, including my season one reaction to Food Wars, and starting this month, my reactions to Blue Lock. On top of that, you get access to my private Discord server and recordings of all the live streams I've done in the past and will do in the future.
future. Furthermore, you'll just be helping out the channel a ton while just getting a bunch of exclusive content in return. So if you want to help support my channel and make sure I'm able to keep putting out videos as frequently as I do, make sure you consider subscribing. And now, on to the next one. Yeah, boss. What the fuck is the Heat Miser doing in this show? I know this guy was introduced in the first episode, but, but I didn't have a proper joke ready at that time for his Street Fighter looking ass. Oh my god, they just had a character say that name out loud and nobody laughed. How did that name get past the first draft of the manga? This dude's about to become a hostage on his first day of meeting this gang. This dude's about to become a corpse on the first day of meeting this gang. Yo, honestly, this guy's speaking some facts. Torture scenes where the interrogator just beats up the victim are a complete waste of time. Like, how are you not just cutting off toes right out the gate? I can take a few punches. I mean, it would definitely suck, but I could do it. But if you even suggest that you're gonna start removing my body parts, I'm gonna give you my boss's address, home phone number, and his son's most recent report card like that. <laughs> Oh my god, enjoy it a little less, please! Yo, I swear to god, that guy started that sentence with yo, Ash. Where are the subtitles trying to lie to me right now? Let the man say yo! Yes. Yo, I do not need to see Ash put the moves on Peter Griffin right now. Like, how did you fall for that? This guy really thought beating up Ash was gonna make him horny? Who do you think he is? Me? By the way, Mom, I know you're out there. You gotta stop watching my videos. You guys are gonna think that's a joke, but I am 100% gonna get a text from my mom once this video drops. Yo, Skip is the fucking man. Dude, you put Skip up against the entire Dragon Ball universe? Kids soloing. Oh yeah, that really got you going? And that was the day. The day AG pole vaulted his way into my heart. Oh, I like that this dude's got a little bit of sass in him. Yeah, that's right, go get the cops, you crazy fucking bitch. Oh, Yo, if this dude does something fucked up to skip, I'm gonna skip his testicles across all five of the Great Lakes. Oh, thank God the yogurt mascot's here to save them. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! No way! You have to be fucking kidding me! That was so fast! Genuinely, the second I almost started caring about a character, they killed him. The show's out here trying to speedrun my emotional roller coaster. Okay, lesson learned, banana fish. <laughs> That dude got kicked so fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, you know what doesn't help tame a lynx? Beating it within an inch of its life and then killing its best friend. Did you try maybe love and compassion? Smut! <laughs> 
This is so the last thing Ash needs right now. Ash needs this like Skip needs a birthday party. <laughs> How about we don't play Ash's gay porno tapes right now? That seems hardly relevant to anything. How about we don't pass around and peruse child pornography right now? Definitely warn a dude the next time you just hand him a magazine full of naked children. This is so unbelievably dark. Maybe the darkest thing I've ever had to react to? Subject matter, at least, like, goddamn. Oh, yeah, or you'll be pissed you left him for dead like the pole vaulting coward you are. Eh, what? They most certainly do. Let's not act like human trafficking doesn't happen in Japan. Cartoon from Japan. Is this guy alerting all of the prison gangs about Ash? What kind of insane super prison is he going to? And that is episodes one and two of Banana Fish. So far, pretty cool. I like the characters. I like that AG is like very naive and shy, but like a little sassy too. Ash is a very cool and very competent dude. And the dialogue is like pretty good and natural. Like I weirdly like really dig the dialogue in this show themes aside like very dark themes aside it seems very like mature and grounded just in terms of like the intrigue it's developing and the fact that it's about like gangs and like this very intricate like web of a past that ash seems to have like the world it drops you into definitely feels like well thought out and like full of context. So I'm very excited to continue on. Let me know what you guys think of the show in the comments. Have you seen it already? Are you watching along with me? And as always, let me know what other shows or movies you want to see me react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. But now I always seem to freeze the things I